Hi there, my name is Ivan and with this channel uh, I want to talk to you about little things that make up a PhD that rarely anyone talks about. So I myself am a second year PhD student in computer science in Lugano, Switzerland and what I figured out is that PhD is much more than publishing papers and uh, you know, just writing them, getting them accepted to journals and conferences. Academic social media is filled with flash announcements like I got my uh, paper accepted at Journal X, uh, I got my professorship uh, position at uh, University Y, and uh, you know, five tips and tricks to finish your PhD, five tips and tricks to get the PhD of your dreams, uh, which can really skew one's perception of what academic life really looks like. Don't get me wrong, uh, I'm all for celebrating successes and I myself have learned a lot from academic Twitter, uh, Reddit, uh, YouTube and on other online communities. In the last couple of years, people have started to talk about uh, the importance of mental, mental health in academia and uh, normalizing failures, failures in um, academic uh, careers so uh, which i really think is imperative to paint the real picture of what, what the real academic and phd life looks like however i still feel something is missing uh, something that is not so big to broadcast to the large uh, audiences but still ends up taking a significant portion of your week for example like 20 to 50 percent easily so when I think about little PhD things, I think about tasks that uh, come up semi-randomly and uh, end up taking um, away the significant portion of your work week. For example, uh, such tasks would be article reviews, uh, PhD paperwork, um, preparing a talk, preparing a poster, preparing the camera edit papers, uh, writing emails, teaching assistant duties, uh, and, and similar things. All of these tasks come up semi-randomly all the time, and we often don't allocate time for them and end up doing them in our free time, which can uh, you know, really create some additional stress, uh, which frankly, we as a PhD students don't really need. What happens to me quite often is that I would plan my week uh, and uh, organize my to-do list so I can finish all the tasks that I need uh, to finish in the following week. And then uh, one or two or several uh, little PhD things uh, come up. And suddenly I, I can't finish my experiment uh, X that I planned to finish on Wednesday. I have to finish it on Friday morning, let's say, and everything gets postponed. This really um, can create some additional stress, especially if you end up uh, working on these tasks over the weekends. Uh, so uh, I, I think the importance of work-life balance is, is something to be discussed as well. Also, I want to talk to you about the productivity in academia task organization and time management. I started my PhD in March 2020, so the week uh, before the first big lockdown in Europe. Uh, this means that I have, as I'm sure a lot of you had, worked the majority of my PhD from home. Uh, this also means that I didn't really meet a lot of new PhD students, a lot of my colleagues, and consequently had to figure all these little PhD things on my own. The figuring out process very often brought some additional stress. So with this channel, I hope to uh, alleviate some of it for future generations. I hope to encourage some discussion among students on how to handle these little things. And I'm very curious of uh, your way of handling it and uh, what PhD is all about for you. My goal is to normalize the image of a PhD students to themselves and to see uh, what really a day-to-day -day life of a PhD student looks like. You know, PhD is much more than uh, consecutive research successes until you graduate. So let's really uh, figure out what a day-to-day -day, uh, life looks like and uh, not feel bad about when, when we don't uh, do what we have maybe planned for or if we uh, encounter some struggles. I invite you to join our Discord server where you can share your struggles and provide support in a casual, friendly and welcoming manner. None of us uh, are experts, so you know, I'm, re I'm certainly not, but hopefully uh, we can all together become better PhD students. I will also be streaming on uh, Twitch on Wednesdays and uh, discuss live uh, selected topic. So I really invite you to join the discussion either on Discord or in Twitch chat. I'll also be active on Reddit and Twitter. 
and hopefully make YouTube videos semi-regularly uh, based on discussions with you, my peers. I invite you to leave a comment uh, on what's bugging you in your PhDs, what you think it should be discussed more that it really isn't, and uh, you can yeah, re reach out and uh, find out more about this. So thanks and uh, see, see you on this journey.